when I first stood for election in 1969, I was very conscious of something that is important to me. I think it is very important to act in the public space with whatever, as Connolly would put it, are the gifts of hand or brain that one has, and to deliver it for one's fellow citizens. is to put culture, the arts, and the Irish language at the centre of Irish life. Now that requires, if you like, spelling out a clear philosophy of culture within a democracy and a republic. I am stressing the job creation potential of the arts. It doesn't make sense, if you like, when you have a whole nation of artistically and creatively bubbling people not to use this as a great resource for uh, job creation. If it is wrong to visit war on a situation where half the population are children today, it will still be wrong on Monday after a weekend of corruption. And it will still be wrong after any resolution that suggests that it is right to go to war. When we are quacking on about our outrage about the pictures, we're not in a position to say that some of the people involved, private or in the army, didn't go through Shannon with the government's agreement. But what we are against, and I have to say so unequivocally, no country has the right to set itself above international law. We are talking about a rights issue, and we're talking about a citizenship issue, that they have the same right to participate personally and institutionally in the life of the state as equal citizens. No Republican can vote against legislation like this. We regularly insult language by saying we live in a republic. We do not, because if you had any version of citizenship, you would say that there should be a floor below which nobody would be allowed to fall. And what's more, those who cut the income of those on the minimum wage, you are visiting poverty on their children. And I say this is a disgrace when you say, treat all the children of the nation equally. How can a mother treat her child the same as everybody else when she loses 40 euro a week? Well, I took the summer to think it all out and to look at 
really all that has been written about the presidency and the most recent incumbents of the office. And I saw uh, that there is a space in which you could have an intellectually strong presidency uh, that would be of great value at home to, if you like, drive on the debate, and an urgent debate, as to what kind of Ireland we want, what kind of Ireland future generations will flourish in and, and something that will express the best of us and our possibilities.